Hello, you are watching The Garden Corner Show. I'm J-Dog, John Carseboom. We are very passionate about almost everything gardening. Only problem is, you've got me to deal with. Sorry. Uh, hey, Happy New Year, by the way, and it's been a while uh, since we put out a video, and we're very excited. I've got some things I want to show you about citrus. You know, in the UK, they, I'm here, you know what, I didn't even introduce, I'm sorry, Mr. Dave is back there patiently. How are you today, Mr. Dave? I'm doing good, it's the new year. Doing good, it's the new year, he's excited, we've got lots of things planned. We even have a calendar of things that we want to, we're actually trying to get organized about, oh, you want to say this, oh, you want to say that, and, uh, but of course, if you have ideas you want to hear about, let me know, email, make a comment, and uh, we'll... Get your questions answered. Um, citrus, what to do about it. If you've got a citrus plant, orange, kumquat, lime, lemon, uh, any of those plants. In the Pacific Northwest, sometimes you're wondering what to do. Uh, you want to winter it over and you're throwing your body across these plants and actually they're very, very easy. I just want to give you a couple easy steps on. I've got some beat up, worn out, kumquats here by the way and I'm going to show you some common telltale things of what happens okay so this is a kumquat it has been through our cold it has uh, except the only thing is uh, it's been under cover so while citrus are not normally hardy here what I have found in the Pacific Northwest is that the temperatures can actually get quite cold, but they do like to be under cover. They don't like to have the weather hitting on their leaves and foliages, uh, leaves and foliage um, through the winter time. So if you have it under cover, that's better. It certainly increases its chances of survival. Some folks will pull their citrus all the way inside. And if you do that, I want to show you some things that, that will happen. One thing, now most often, indoors or outdoors, you're going to get leaf spot. And if you can see that, what that is, a telltale sign on that is the black spot there. Um, uh, it's a type of fungus. And uh, what causes that fungus is either cold and wet or warm and wet. So sometimes you'll get them in the uh, summer months and sometimes you'll get it in the winter months. Now we're talking about citrus right now and when you see that sometimes there's a gut reaction that you want, uh, I just want to spray, 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 and kill the fungus because you don't want it to spread to any of the other plants. But for citrus, what we're going to do is actually let that happen because one thing is going to happen in the in, inside is that you will lose all of your leaves. You might have a few green ones left on there, but be prepared for the thing to go leafless. And that's not normal for citrus, but again, we're talking about Pacific Northwest and uh, it's, that's what's going to happen. So it's going to lose its leaves, it's going to fall off. And one thing you need to do is when the leaves fall off, for sure, is clean up around the base of it. And what we want to do is throw these away. What happens, now just imagine this not having any leaves, and we have a whole bunch of bad leaves down here. When you pull this out after the last frost, late spring, is the rain will hit these leaves and then bounce up to the new foliage. And so it'll get infected with that fungus. The water, again, warm and wet, cold and wet, will start infecting these leaves. The water will drip onto the next leaves and pretty soon your whole plant will have leaf spot. If it happens in the springtime, that's when we want to, or the summer months, is that's when we want to hit it with some spray because we're going to still expect leaves. So, uh, so that's about leaf spot. Clean it up. Let the foliage drop. Now, another thing too is you can certainly prune these back. Now, this is a this is a Nagami kumquat. Uh, of course, we've had lots of kumquats. Neat thing about kumquats. Have you ever, Mr. Dave, have you ever eaten a kumquat? I haven't. Oh, you know, that is a life experience. You've got to eat a kumquat. How you eat these, by the way, now normally they're little oranges, just tiny little oblong little oranges. Strange enough, you think, oh, I've got a 
peel it because it's got like an orange peel on it. Shoot, I'll show you next in the springtime when we have some. Um, so it looks like a little orange. And strangely enough, the fruit in the middle is the sour part of it. The skin is the sweet part. And like I said, you're just gonna feel weird popping the whole thing in your mouth, but it, it's really, really delicious. And then on a kumquat, you can get literally hundreds of these. Uh, easily a hundred on just a shrub this size. Anyway, turn these off. Um, any of the old, any of the old fruit that didn't that didn't mature, we're just going to prune that back. Give it a good pruning. And what that does, by the way, is when you prune. I don't know if you can get a close up on that, but let's say we're pruning here, and I'm doing it at an angle. And what's going to happen is the branch is going to branch out here, and a branch is going to come out right there. So we actually get more branches coming out and thus more fruit. So, where was I? Oh, one other thing we gotta uh, watch out for on citrus, and not to panic, is that you will get scale. And what scale is, is if you look along, I wish we, <laughs> I hate to say this, but I wish we had some scale to show you. But what scale will do is it will grow along your branches and what it is it would look like just a little brown dot kind of like how this little bud is is it, it will look similar to that and what and now this doesn't have any scale but when you when you uh, push on it it'll it'll have a hard outer shell and a, and a soft center should I say so it goes so it's very squishy that harder outer protective sh shell that's what protects it from the, the scale from any uh, sprays that we might spray on it. So if we have, a, say, an insecticidal soap and we're thinking we're going to get it, it ain't going to happen. So normally what I would, normally what I would recommend for scale is a systemic to put down and it'll and a systemic is just some granules you'll put into the base of the plant. It'll take it up through the through the branches and the stems, and then the scale will suck on that and then die. But this is a citrus, and so I want to make sure that you know you're eating what you really want to eat and nothing else. So on a citrus, what we're going to do is spray a type of oil, a neem oil, a um, uh, what's the term? Dormant. Dormant. Thank you, Mr. Dave. A dormant Ooh, spray oil, yes. And what that oil does, it's going to cover up that hard outer protective shell and it's going to suffocate the thing. So, so black spot, scale, you'll get on a citrus and not to worry. Anything else I wanted to go over this on, on, on the citrus, Mr. Day? I think that's it. That's the show for the day. I'm Jay Dog. Let me know if you have any questions. In the meantime, live your passion. Is he